Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's a quarterfinal match with Belmont High School. Taking on Western High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. You always want your kids to be safe. Now you can show them the Drive with Safety app from Safety Insurance, designed to help us all drive better. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. And back in January, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show champion in today's match direct from the comfort of their own homes we have belmont high school taking on weston high school and on the belmont team we've got tor welcome back tor good to see you thank you good to see you too are you all good ready to go yep all right you look ready i gotta be honest <laughs> with you tor uh margo how you feeling about this round I'm feeling great about this round. Great and confident, I'm guessing. Bennett, how about you? Yeah, same for me. All right, and Nathan? You're an A-OK. -okay. All right, the alternates for Belmont are Yona and Kirill and Coach Stacy Williams. And on the Weston High School team, hello, Michael, how you doing today? I'm doing well, Billy, how are you? I'm good, you feeling good? I'm feeling good today, Bet. All Williams. right, Jesse, how about Bet. you? I'm feeling great, yeah. Okay, Benny, how about you? I feel great, as All right. always, I feel great. And Reed, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so the alternate for Weston High School is Megan, and Coach Allison Langsdorf is on the sidelines as well. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. Players, by the way, have each been provided with a game interface to enable them to play from home. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All players on both teams are active, and with the correct answer, can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. In this round, there are no point deductions for wrong answers. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light, an incorrect answer, and a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you're ready, good luck. In a closely watched race held in January 2021, uh, Democrats John Ossoff and Reverend Raphael Warnock won their Senate runoff elections in what U.S. state, Pennsylvania, Georgia, or Nevada? Georgia is the answer. Uh, what term refers to the upper chambers of the heart? Atria, ventricles, or myocardia? Atria, the answer. As seen in the season two finale of Derry Girls in 1995, who gave a historic speech in Derry and a show of support for Northern Ireland's peace process? Was it Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, or Bill Clinton? Bill Clinton, the answer. With 15 major championship wins to date, Tiger Woods is second only to what golfing legend who has won 18 majors? Is it Arnold Palmer, Greg Norman, or Jack Nicklaus? Jack Nicklaus, the answer. Now take a look at your screens. Uh, depicted here in a late 10th century sculpture from India, what god in the Hindu triumvirate is responsible for destroying the universe in order to recreate it? Is it Brahma, Vishnu, or Shiva? Shiva is the answer. 
Trailing by a set and a break, what number four seed rallied to beat Victoria Azarenka and win the U.S. Open women's singles title in September of 2020? Was it Serena Williams, Simona Halep, or Naomi Osaka? <phone rings> Naomi Osaka is the answer. In the 2019 film adaptation of Little Women, eagle-eyed viewers spotted a hydro flask in a scene with what actor who plays Laurie? Was it Tom Holland? Ansel Elgort or Timothy Chalamet? <phone rings> Timothy Chalamet, the answer. Published from 1936 to 1967, what annual travel guide identified businesses that would accept black customers during America's era of racial segregation? Was it the Green Book, the Blue Book, or the Black Book? <phone rings> the Green Book is the answer. And in 2020, what lovable Muppet from Sesame Street scored his own talk show on HBO Max, The Not Too Late Show? Was it Kermit, Cookie Monster, or Elmo? <phone rings> Elmo is the correct answer. Now take a look at your screens. Here comes the next question. Hi, I am author Roxanne Gay, and here is my question. One of the essays in my book, Bad Feminist, is about my love for the Hunger Games trilogy. According to author Suzanne Collins, Katniss Everdeen is an updated version of what Greek hero who killed the Minotaur? Is it Jason, Perseus, or Theseus? Theseus is the answer there. In 2020, the Supreme Court ruled that nearly half of what U.S. state is Native American land, Oklahoma, Montana, or North Dakota? Oklahoma. What English scientist not only discovered hydrogen, but also conducted a famous experiment to weigh the Earth? Isaac Newton, Henry Cavendish, or Joseph Priestley? Henry Cavendish. During a Senate impeachment trial in which all 100 senators are present, how many votes are needed to convict and remove a president from office? Is it 51, 61, or 67? 67 is the answer. In 2020, what former Saturday Night Live writer was nominated for an Emmy for a variety special featuring a group of kids called the Sack Lunch Bunch? Was it John Mulaney, Seth Meyers, or Fred Armisen? John Mulaney. Math question. What is 3 cubed minus 3 squared? Is it 11, 3, or 18? 18 is the answer. Which of the following? And that's the bell ending the toss-up round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 390 points. Weston High School, it's a close one, 420 points. Great job, teams. <laughs>Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next, but we pause uh, for a few minutes to talk with and get to know the players, and we'll do it with a question each of you will answer. I will ask the question, and here it comes. 2020 was a tough year for all of us. What was the brightest moment for you and why? We'll start here with Belmont High School and you, Tor. What do you think? Uh, I got my uh, college plans and future plans figured out, uh, so that was nice to get done. A lot of extra time, I'm guessing. What better time to do it? Uh, Margo, how about you? I went on a great kayaking trip with my friends. Oh, where to? We're just in New Hampshire on a lake. Oh, nice. Bennett, how about you? Brightest moment? Um, I finished my Eagle Scout service project, which uh, I've been working on for a really long time. So that was really uh, gratifying. How long did that take, by the way? Uh, the project itself was uh, like 100 hours of work, but, you know, I've been a scout for, you know, most of my life. Good for you. Nathan, how about you? Well, like most people, I've been in a lot of Zoom calls, of course, uh, but my lighting in my room at night is very bad. So I got like a light bulb from a lamp, and when I turned that on, I was looking right at it. So that was probably the brightest moment. I like that one. Very good. And uh, Weston High School, we'll start with you, Michael. Uh, yeah, I'm one of the MCs for my class, so I put on assemblies for the school. So it's been a lot of fun. Oh, good job. Jesse? Um, yeah, I would just have to say the vaccine, just because it was confirmation that there's an end to this mess. Light at the end of the tunnel. Hope, right? Yeah. Well said. Uh, Benny, how about you? 
I was really happy when professional sports returned, specifically basketball. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Reed, you? Yeah, well, uh, you know, despite the chaos, there was actually like a five or six day period when we didn't have school, uh, when things were shutting down. So that was a nice surprise. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Time for the next round, guys. So let's go head to head. As a reminder, in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total, but incorrect answers now result in a 10-point deduction. If a player does not provide an answer in the three seconds granted, there is no impact on the score. So, teams, let's go head to head. The Greek hero Jason led the Argonauts on an epic quest for what legendary object? Was it Pandora's box or the Golden Fleece? the Golden Fleece. A spider has how many legs, six or eight? Eight. World War II formally ended on September 2nd, 1945, when what country surrendered aboard the USS Missouri? Was it Japan or Germany? Japan. According to Sigmund Freud, what part of the human psyche is driven by the pleasure principle? Is it the id or the ego? The id is the answer. What is the largest city in New Zealand by population, Wellington or Auckland? Auckland is the answer. Uh, Glinda and Elphaba are the main characters in what Broadway musical? Would it be Wicked or Dreamgirls? Wicked, the answer. Clara Barton earned the nickname the Angel of the Battlefield for her work as a nurse during what war? Crimean War or U.S. Civil War? U.S. Civil War. What actor who died in 2020 at the age of 43 said it was the honor of his career to play T'Challa in Black Panther? Was it Chadwick Boseman or Michael B. Jordan? Chadwick Boseman. And that is the bell ending the round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 450 points. This is a really good match. Weston High School right now, 480 points. Great round, teams. Good job. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Triple Threat, Lingua Franca, House of Blues, Tour de Farce, America's Got Biden, A Space Odyssey. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. Once a team selects a category, they'll be asked all five questions. Right answers will add points. Wrong answers will deduct points from the team's total score. A decision not to answer will not impact the team's score. Once per category, the team can also choose to toss a question to the opposing team. A toss question must be answered and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Each team will complete two full categories. Yes, they can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question. Now, each team will have to have a spokesperson. Belmont High School, who is it going to be? Uh, me. Okay, Tor. Uh, Weston High School, spokesperson. Who's it going to be? be? me, Billy. Michael's going to take the gig. All right, so uh, Belmont High School, you've got a little ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. Let's go. What's it going to be? What do you guys think? America's got Biden? Sure. Oh, I think um, I'd, I'd say either Lingua like Franca, Biden, or Odyssey. It's up to you guys. Should we go current events first? Yeah, yeah let's go current events. What do you think, Tor? Right. Uh, we'll take America's got Biden, please. America's got Biden. Questions about President Joe Biden. For 10 points, Joe Biden was born in 1942 in what Pennsylvania city that is the setting of the NBC sitcom The Office? Scranton. Yeah, Scranton. Uh, final answer, Scranton, Pennsylvania. And Scranton is a correct answer for 10 points. Now for 15 points. Uh, Biden served 36 years as a U.S. senator from what state? Uh, Del Delaware. Del final answer, Delaware. Uh, Delaware it is now for 20 points. What breed is the Biden's dog major, the first sheltered dog to ever live in the White House? Is it German Shepherd, Labrador Retriever, or Beagle? German Shepherd. It's, it's a Shepherd. It's German right? Shepherd. 
Yeah. Okay. Final, Final answer, answer German, German Shepherd is correct for 20. For 25 points, Biden was the sponsor of what 1994 act known by the acronym VAWA that resulted in a dramatic decrease in domestic partner violence? It's the Violence Against Women really Act. Really yeah. Yeah. Uh, Final answer, Violence Against Women Act. And that is correct for 25 points. Now for 30 in 2019, Biden dropped his long-held support of what controversial 1976 amendment that blocks federal funds for most abortions? The Hyde Amendment. Yeah. Yeah. Final answer, the Hyde Amendment. And that is correct for 30 points. And now we switch over to Weston High School. We'll need a category, Weston. Uh, Benny, what are you thinking? I'm thinking triple threat. Uh, Lingo Franca or Triple Threat, which one? Yeah, should we do Lingua th- Franca? All right, if you guys want, we'll do Lingua Franca, uh, Billy. Okay, thank you, Michael. Lingua Franca, questions about languages for 10 points. Alpha and Omega are the first and last letters of what language? Greek. Greek, Greek, Greek alphabet, yeah. right? Final answer is Greek. Say that. The final, answer, the final answer is the Greek alphabet. And that is good for 10 points. For 15 points, And Frank's diary was written and first published in what language? German, right? German. Or Dutch. German. Or Dutch. Or Dutch, or Dutch, yeah. Dutch, 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 Dutch. Dutch. The final answer is Dutch. Dutch is correct for 15 points. For 20, what is the only language descended from Latin to be spoken as a national language in Eastern Europe today? Romanian. Romania. Romanian. The final answer yeah. is Romanian. Correct for 20 points. Now for 25, the words algebra, alcohol, and zero are ultimately derived from what language? Arabic. Arabic? Yeah, Arabic. Yeah. Arabic. The final answer is Arabic. And that is correct. Now we can move on to 30 points. Historians say Jesus likely would have known Hebrew and Greek, but probably spoke what language among family and friends? A language that was once commonly spoken in the Middle East. A or something. Aramaic. Oh, yay, yeah, Aramaic. Go with that. Aramaic. The final answer is Aramaic. Aramaic is the correct answer for 30 points. We come back now to Belmont High School. You'll need a category. What do you guys think? Dude. That's the blues. I think space could be good. This is probably just astronomy. Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm done for that. Okay, sure. Uh, we'll take a space odyssey, please. Okay, a space odyssey. Questions about astronomy and space exploration. And for 10 points, in 1969, during the historic Apollo 11 mission, what U.S. president phoned Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon to congratulate them? Nixon is president, 69. Yep. Uh, Final answer, Nixon. And that is correct for 10 points. For 15 points, what former Soviet street dog made history in 1957 as the first living creature to orbit the Earth, blasting off on a one-way journey aboard Sputnik 2? Isn't it Strelka? No, oh, I thought it was low. It's, lo- it's Laika. It's Laika, like, right? Like, is it Laika? Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? I think it's Laika. Yeah. Okay, final answer, Laika. Laika is the correct answer now for 20 points. Since its discovery by the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi in 1801, what object located between Mars and Jupiter has been considered a comet, a planet, an asteroid, and a dwarf planet? Is Eris? Is that where Eris is? Eris, is it? Are you sure? It's probably either Eris or Ceres. Need a final know. answer, Tor. Eris, should we go ahead? Uh, final answer, Eris. No, Ceres is the actual answer. Now for 25 points. Named after a German astronomer and launched in 2009, what NASA space telescope detected thousands of exoplanets before it ran out of fuel and was retired in 2018? Hubble is not German. Is this Spitzer? I think the Spitzer telescope was exoplanets. Okay, Okay. that sounds German. Uh, Spitzer, final answer. Kepler is the final answer oh. on that. And now for 30 points. In 1930, what 25-year-old amateur astronomer discovered Pluto at Arizona's Lowell Observatory? Should we toss it? There's like the whole... No, they'll know. I named after him. I think we should just pass. Need an answer, Tor? No, you should toss yes. it, I think. Uh, toss, please. We're going to toss. Weston High School, do you have an answer? What are we thinking? I'm be honest, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Yeah, I um, <laughs> okay. Smith. That's all good. Michael, final, final answer. answer. Uh, Smith. Smith. Say Smith. Smith. Smith, final it's answer. Smith. It's not Smith. <laughs> no, Clyde Tombaugh is the final answer. And now we go to Weston High School. You'll need a category. Uh, um, you think triple threat? Triple Do you think threat? it's like anything sport yeah. related? Or? I What's think it going to be? be? I don't know. Let's, yeah. let's go with triple threat, Billy. Okay. Triple threat. All answers are... 
Three words that repeat Ugh. for 10 points. What new book about the oral history of the film Dazed and Confused is titled after Matthew McConaughey's signature catchphrase? All right, all right, all right. Final answer, all right, all right, all right. And that is correct. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, for 15 points, rumored to be about their manager, Lou Perlman, who they allege had been stealing their profits. What hit song by the band NSYNC is ostensibly about a romantic breakup? Oh, what is it again? Bye, bye, bye. Final answer. Yes. Bye, bye, bye is the correct answer for 20 points. What 1937 recording by Benny Goodman and his orchestra is a signature song of the big band era? Shouldn't I know this? Because this is my name. T toss. Toss. Go on, toss it. No, really? Do you think so? No, but this is a 20. It was Final pass. answer, well, Michael. Pass. Pass. Uh, let's just pass. We'll pass, Billy. We're going to pass. Sing, sing, sing is the answer there. For 25 points, in Act 2, Scene 2 of Hamlet, Polonius asks, what do you read, my lord? Hamlet feigns madness by giving what reply? Hmm. Oh. They know this. They know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll pass. We'll pass, pass Billy. Uh, you're going to pass. Words, words, words is the answer. Now, 430 points, one of many Beach Boys songs that define the California myth. What 1964 song is about a girl who goes hot rodding till her daddy takes the T-bird away? Pass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> want to toss I think, it? I don't know. I mean, we're, you know what? I think, no, I have pass no it, pass it, pass it. I, I think okay. we'll toss, pass. Toss. You're going to pass. Pass, pass. All right, fun, pass. fun, fun is the name of that song. And that ends the category round. The score right now, Belmont High School, 530 points. Weston High School, 575 points. This is a really good round. Great job, team. OK, we are heading into the final round of play. It is the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with a correct answer can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points. And the decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions. And teams, if you're ready, this is a good round. Good luck. Who was president of the United States at the start of the Great Depression? Was it Herbert Hoover or Franklin D. Roosevelt? Herbert Hoover. Machu Picchu is a top tourist attraction in what country, Colombia or Peru? Peru. The Romans invaded Britain largely for its metals, especially what metal that mixes with copper to make bronze? Is it iron or tin? Tin is the answer. What Scottish actor who played James Bond in seven films passed away in 2020 at the age of 90? Was it Sean Connery or Roger Moore? Sean Connery. Elections in Massachusetts are overseen by what current Massachusetts Secretary of State? Is it Suzanne Bump or Bill Galvin? Bill Galvin. Name the only member of the deer family in which both males and females have antlers. Elk or caribou? Caribou. In the 1999 film The Matrix, Neo takes what color pill to wake up, red or blue? Red. In 2020, what country was the site of massive protests against President Alexander Lukashenko? Ukraine or Belarus? Belarus. What Irish author wrote Ulysses as a modern parallel to Homer's Odyssey? Was it James Joyce or William Butler Yeats? James Joyce. What continent is home to the McMurdo Dry Valleys where it hasn't rained? For nearly two million years, Australia or Antarctica? Antarctica is the answer there, and that's the bell that ends the game. The winning team, Belmont High School, with a total score of 1,110 points. The runner up this week, Weston High School, 1,000. 55 points. That was an awesome round. Congratulations to both teams for a great game. So Belmont High School now will advance to the next round where they'll play the winner of the AMSA Needham match. And that match 
is coming up next. In the meantime, though, don't forget you can always play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll be right back. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's quick estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. I feel it. When our communities need a voice, Eastern Bank steps up, stands strong, and does not stay silent. When times get tough, good speaks up. Join us for good. This is what it's 